Welcome to Gayati Yoga, my friends. In today's practice, we'll be focusing on our full body, trying to slow down our minds, the thought process, let go of the tension and find peace in our hearts towards the end of the practice. We we'll begin in a comfortable seated position. So if you feel comfortable crossing your legs here, you can do it sitting in an easy pose. Maybe move your feet slightly forward for diamond shape. If you're hips are too tight and the knees are really high and it's hard for you to uh, lengthen up through the spine you can elevate the hips and bring the hips on top of a block or maybe a couple of blankets and when you're ready begin lengthening through the crown of the head up trying to um, keep your ribs tucked neutral and softening through the belly through the pelvic floor allow yourself to breathe naturally without tightening up your belly. Allow the belly to expand as you inhale, the natural movement. Allow the pelvic floor to move as you inhale. And as you exhale, allow the belly to soften, the ribs to soften as the diaphragm is moving back up. And you can visualize the diaphragm, the dome of your diaphragm here in the middle of your chest, going down as you inhale, as the lungs expand, the diaphragm is moving down and as you exhale the diaphragm is moving up towards the middle of the sternum and as you breathe in and breathe out begin letting go any unnecessary thoughts follow your breath with your mind visualize how your internal organs also moving down the diaphragm is pushing on the internal organs as you inhale and as you exhale everything is sort of sucking back up with each and every exhale you allow your body to relax your shoulders to relax the neck the face muscles the jaw the lips the tongue the eyelids, you don't need to control anything, you don't need to worry about anything. You just need to be here in this very moment, connecting to your body, connecting to your heart, allowing any unnecessary thoughts to let go. With each and every exhale, allowing your thighs to soften, the knees to soften, your lower back to soften. When you're ready, bring the palms to the heart center and take a moment to set the intention for your practice. What do you expect from your yoga? What is bringing you to your mat today? And when you're ready, gently open your eyes, inhale, lift your arms through the sides and visualize your arms moving through water. The water is resisting as you lengthen through the arms, feel nice tension through the arms, reaching your fingertips up and try not to flare out the ribs, just focus on lifting your arms as high as possible and exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. You can keep your eyes closed and keep connecting to your breath, to your sensations. Observe how high you can lift the arms, how comfortable it is for your shoulder blades, your shoulders, your armpits area. As you lift the arms up, interlace the fingers and reach the palms up to the ceiling. Push through the palms up. And exhale, slowly begin tucking the chin, reaching your palms to the front and keep pushing them away from you. Lengthen through the back of your neck, through your upper back, middle back, low back. And then inhale, keep pushing your palms forward and up, lift through the heart. And exhaling slowly, rounding. Inhale up. Exhale round. 
and inhale up and now rotate your chest to the right side and guide uh, the left ribs to the right side so they are leading the movement and you're spiraling with the shoulders with your ears with your eyes with the crown of the head up to the ceiling and exhale slowly return one more time spiraling as you're lengthening exhale return one more time in your lengthen exhale return now towards the left side lengthen through the palms soften through the shoulders and now rooting through the sit bones begin rotating your right ribs to the left your shoulders are following your ears your gaze and exhale release inhale as you lengthen spiral exhale release inhale as you lengthen spiral exhale release and now release the hold on the fingers create your fists you can move the fists in circles waking up your wrists and you can become begin opening and closing your fists straightening the fingers as much as possible and opening and closing as much as possible and observe how it feels in your forearms in your shoulders how easy it is for you to extend the palm extend the fingers all the way and maybe one finger like or a couple of fingers are opening fine and the other couple of fingers having hard time just observe and now exhale soften through the arms you can close the eyes you can bring the palms towards the knees and just observe nice sensations energy moving through your arms the blood going down back to the fingertips mm. the tension in your palms in your fingers can cause the tension in your upper back in your neck and even give you headaches so we need to take care of our whole body and pay attention to the palms to the fingers to the feet as well as the rest of the body and now you can bend the elbows and move the elbows in a circular direction waking up your joint hydrating the joint And now begin moving your shoulders, moving the arms, waking up the shoulders. And observe how is your range of motion today without compensating with the spine. Just move the elbows up to the sides, back and down. How big are the circles and how comfortable you are. And then reverse. And breathe allowing your upper back to relax bring the palms towards the knees and reach your right ear towards the right shoulder lengthen through the left side and then slowly begin circling stretching through the back of the neck to the left lengthen through the right ear and draw your right shoulder down in a couple of times and returning to neutral now bring your left palm towards the right knee as you inhale lengthen and then rooting through the left sit bone begin rotating your left ribs to the right so the spiraling comes from the waist the ribs then the shoulder then the ear and then you lengthen through the crown of the head and find your twist breathe here inhale and exhale as you inhale try to expand the ribs as much as you can filling up the lungs with air allow the belly to expand the pelvic floor to soften inhale and exhale slowly lean to the right side and see if you can bring the palms to the floor towards the right side and observe how it feels in your lower back maybe it's hard for you to bring the palms down you can stay on the fingertips or maybe have the palms on your blocks you can soften through the neck tucking the chin gently you can soften through the elbows and maybe do a little mini push-up in this position and observe how it feels in your lower back and as you do it press the palms into the mat and as if you're trying to rip the mat apart 
push the elbows into opposite direction as you keep doing your mini push-ups and observe how it feels in your lower back. And now slowly uh, begin lifting your chest, keep your right palm on the mat and circle the left arm through the front to the left and back to open through the heart and exhale spiral your left ribs to the right and then tuck the chin gently inhale up and open exhaling down inhale up and open exhale down one more time inhale up and open exhale down and now inhale up and see if you can bring the weight towards the knees, lifting your hips and stretching through the front of the body. Opening the heart, the front of the hips, stretching through the belly. You can lift the chin, stretch through the throat. And exhale very slowly, lower the hips down. Bring the palms towards the knees and slowly begin tucking the chin, rounding through your back. Inhale, lift through the heart. Exhale, and slowly roll it down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Observe if there are any differences between the left and right sides. Maybe on one side you feel more comfortable. And now slowly walk the palms to the front of you and begin folding down wherever you are. Maybe your elbows will stay lifted. Maybe you can lower the forearms. Maybe you can bring your forehead to the block or maybe to your fists or maybe all the way to the floor. And allow your hips to soften, your lower back to soften the pelvic floor. Breathe towards the pelvic floor. Visualize your breath moving down like the the air is not going mm, that low but because of the movement of the diaphragm everything moves up and down and we need to allow the pelvic floor to relax as every as you inhale so that the organs were able to move down and then slowly you allow your belly your pelvic floor, the ribs to gently contract as you exhale. Inhale, lift your chest. Keep your palms on the mat. Spread the fingers and visualize as if you're trying to rip the mat apart. You gently roll the biceps out and you feel your upper back engaging. And now slowly begin tucking the chin, rounding your back and keep ripping the mat apart and observe how it feels in your upper back. Inhale, draw the floor in towards you, lifting through the heart. And exhaling, slowly reversing. Inhale, lift. And exhale, slowly reverse. Inhale, lift. Exhale, slowly reverse. Return to neutral. Bring the palms in and now change the cross of your legs. You can extend the legs and relax the knees if you feel a little stuck. Relax the ankles and now bring the opposite chin to the front. Lengthen. You can close your eyes for a moment and observe how the left and right sides feel, if there are any differences. And now bring your right palm towards the left knee, root through the sit bones. Inhale, begin spiraling your right ribs to the left side. You can even bring your palm to the ribs and gently guide the ribs to the left, but focus on the lengthening at the same time. The shoulders are beginning to rotate, then your neck, your ears are rotating to the left and you're lengthening through the crown of the head. You can pause here and breathe. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, allow the ribs to soften and maybe twist a little deeper. Trying to keep the crown of the head over the pelvis. Inhale and exhale, begin leaning towards the left side, trying to bring both palms to the floor. And observe how it feels in your back muscles, in your spine, the waist, maybe the ribs on the right side. And allow your chin to um, tuck gently, stretching the back of your neck, and you will feel your whole back line stretching. 
And as you breathe in, allow the ribs to expand, allow the belly to expand, your lower back. And you can gently begin doing little mini push-ups, soften through the elbows and allow them to open to the sides. Press the palms into the mat and rip the mat apart as you do little push-ups and then push off. So the elbows are pushed into opposite directions. You're ripping the mat apart with the palms and you are sinking into a little forward fold with your twist and observe how it feels in your lower back and try not to lift the right sit bone. The movement will be very tiny. And now inhale, lift, keep your left palm on the mat and now circle your right arm through the front, all the way to the front and back. So you're detwisting and you're opening the heart, widening through the collarbones. And as you exhale, you spiral in your right ribs back to the left side and you can touch the fingers to the floor, gently tucking the chin. Inhale, up and open. Exhale, spiral. Inhale, up and open. Exhale, spiral. Up and open. Exhale, spiral. And now lift the right arm and begin lifting your hips. Um, draw the pubic bone towards the ribs, engaging the glutes and lift, bring the knees to the floor and then slowly push your left shin bone into the mat and lift through the hips, through the heart. You can lift the chin gently. Widen through the collarbones and exhale. Slowly lower the hips down. Bring the palms towards the knees, inhale, lift through the heart. And exhale, tuck in the chin, slowly begin rolling down, one vertebra by vertebra at a time, into your rounded back and a stretch through the back line, send the vertebras back. Inhale, slowly begin lifting through the heart, lifting the chin, exhaling down. And observe how this move feels. Do you feel more uh, balanced on the left and the right side? And now exhale, slowly begin folding down, bringing your palms, your elbows, or maybe your foreheads to the floor as a block. Observe how it feels on the um, outer hips and observe if there are any differences between um, the position of the legs when the right or like the opposite shin bone was at the front and now when you switched does it feel the same is it more challenging now or maybe it's easier connecting to your body connecting to your imbalances observing your body and as you exhale soften through your face through the jaw your tongue your throat your heart your belly your pelvic floor your lower back your outer hips, your thighs, your shin bones. Expanding the ribs as you inhale and gently contracting as you exhale. When you're ready, pressing the palms into the mat, slowly lifting through the heart. Press your left palm into the floor, you can move it to the center and now as you roll the left bicep out, begin rotating your chest to the right and reach your right arm back, open the heart and exhale, switch, bring your right palm to the floor as you press the palm into the mat, roll the biceps out and switch, exhale down, inhale, twist, exhale down, inhale, twist. And slowly return your left palm to the floor, walk the palms in and lift the knees. You can relax your ankles, relax the knees, move the knees from side to side. You can extend the legs and shake your legs. And then when you're ready, transition to your tabletop. Spread the fingers, press the palms into the mat and begin ripping the mat apart as you press the palms into the mat. Roll the biceps out, keep your hips over the knees and gently begin lifting through your chin, through your sternum and sending the sit bones up and back. 
And exhale, tuck in the chin, rounding in your upper back, middle back, lower back, draw the pubic bone towards the ribs and push the floor away from you. And at the same time, keep ripping the neck apart. Inhale, lengthen through the spine and then find your arch and exhale, slowly round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, return to neutral, and now send the hips back, and then forward. Back, observe how it feels in your quadriceps and glutes, maybe your low back and forward. Back and forward, and now curl the toes and send the hips back, observe how it feels in your soles of the feet, and then back forward a couple of times. Now you can uncurl the toes, and as you send the hips back, draw the pubic bone towards the ribs, round your lower back, middle back, upper back. Stay rounded, and then push your shin bones into the mat. You're reversing yourself to tabletop, and then bring your spine to neutral. Send the hips back, draw the pubic bone towards the ribs, round, move back to the front, and bring your spine to neutral. One more time, send the hips back, draw the pubic bone towards the ribs, round, push your shin bones to reverse, and bring your spine to neutral. Press your left palm into the mat, and find your twist, reach your right arm up, reach the fingertips up to the ceiling, and now slowly begin threading your right arm under the left armpit, and reach your shoulder down to the floor. Maybe you will touch the floor, maybe not, just find your twist, trying to stack your shoulders. And now press your left palm into the mat, inhale, rotate to the right side, exhale, find your twist. Inhale up, reach your fingertips up, exhale down. Now lower your right shoulder down and stay here for a moment. Press your left palm into the mat and direct your left shoulder to the back of the room. Inhale, press your left palm into the floor, slowly rising up. And from here, again, send your knee hips back, draw the pubic bone to your ribs, rising up as you stay rounded. And then bringing your spine to neutral, observing any differences between the left and right side. Curling the tailbone under, rounding your lower back, middle back, upper back, and moving to the front, and then return to neutral. Send the hips back, draw the pubic bone to your ribs, round move forward and return to neutral. Now press the right palm into the mat and twist to the left. Begin lifting your elbows, taking your shoulders and then lifting your fingertips up to the ceiling and try not to move the hips. Exhale, thread your left arm under the right armpit and reach your shoulder down. And if it's touching the floor, great. If not, just stay here and twist. You bring the weight to the forearm. Press your right palm into the mat. Inhale, twist. Exhale, release, soften your face, your jaw, inhale, up and twist, exhale, down and lower your shoulder down. Bring the palm to the floor and direct your right shoulder to the back of the room. Direct the sit bones to the back of the room. Try not to uh, twist in your hips. Observe how it feels. Breathe and Allow the ribs to expand as you inhale. Relax your pelvic floor. Press your right palm into the mat and slowly rising up back to your tabletop. From here, shifting your hips back. Draw the pubic bone to your ribs, round your lower back, middle back, upper back. Push your shin bones to the floor and then slowly return. Send the hips back. Draw the pubic bone to your ribs and slowly return. And now move the palm slightly forward. As you shift your hips forward, you find yourself in half plank. Length and throw the spine through the crown of the head to the front, through the sit bones to the back of the room. And now you send the hips back again. And now draw the pubic bone towards the ribs around your lower back, middle back, upper back. As you move your hips forward, you slowly begin uncurling the spine to neutral. One more time, send the hips back. Draw the pubic bone towards the ribs. Moving to the front, waking up your spine. Returning to neutral. From here, curl the toes, lift the knees, and send the heels back. And you find yourself in your plank. 
spread the fingers, roll the biceps out, observe how it feels to be here. Engage the quadriceps, lifting the kneecaps up. And as you press the palms into the mat, rip the mat apart. As you press the uh, heels towards the back of the room and the balls into the mat, rip the mat apart with your feet. Observe how it feels. You should feel your quads, your outer legs engaging. And now exhale, gently bend the knees, reach the knees to the floor, tap, and then extend. Two, breathe. Three, four, and five. And now exhale, bend the knees, reach your belly to the thighs, extend through the arms, and then slowly extend your legs up to the ceiling, reaching your sit bones up to the ceiling, reaching your heels down. Observe how it feels, walk your legs here, finding your downward dog, inverted letter V. And if the heels are not touching the floor, that's fine, just gently walk. You can gently twist from side to side, lengthen through the sides of the body, bending one knee and then the other. Connect into your body to the sensations, make the moves that make you feel good. Inhale, gaze to the front, exhale, you can jump, walk, or just step the feet to the front of the mat. Slowly soften in here in your forward fold, allow your head, your neck, your shoulders to relax, grab opposite elbows. You can gently swing from side to side, from side to side, and then allow the palms to soften to the floor. When you're ready, inhale and exhale, draw the pubic bone towards ribs and slowly begin rolling up one vertebra by vertebra at a time. Staking your vertebrae, sticking the hips over the knees, knees over the ankles, shoulders over the hips and crown of the head over the spine. You can pause here and observe how you feel. When you're ready, inhale, lift your arms up through the sides, lengthen through the front of the body. Exhale, begin folding down, reach the palms to the floor, soften through the knees if needed. Inhale, lift your chest halfway up, gaze in front of you. And exhale, step your feet back into plank. And now lower down to your knees and lower the chest between the palms. Keep your elbows in towards the ribs. Your booty is sticking up to the ceiling. And now slowly you begin extending your torso towards the front of the room, lowering the hips, uncurling the toes, finding yourself in your cobra. Exhale, press the knees into the mat, press the palms into the mat, lift the hips, send the hips back, curl the toes, and lift the knees, and then send the sit bones up to the ceiling, reach the heels down, find your downward dog. Inhale, gaze to the front, you can step, walk, or maybe you're ready to jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift your chest halfway up, and exhale, folding down, reach the belly towards the thighs, and if the knees are softened, that's fine. Inhale, slowly draw the pubic bone to his ribs, rising up to standing, uh, aligning the shoulders over the hips, crown of the head over the spine. Inhale, lift the arms up, and lengthening through the front of the body, you can soften through the knees and lift the sternum up, widen through the collarbone. Exhale, slowly begin folding down, reaching your palms to the floor, and micro bending the knees if needed. Inhale, lift your chest halfway up. Exhale, bring the palms to the floor, step your feet back into plank. Exhale, lower down to your knees, chest, and chin. Or you can shift your shoulders forward, bend the elbows, chaturanga. Inhaling, upward facing dog, lift through the heart. Exhale, shift your hips back and up, downward dog. Observe the sensations in your downward dog, how your hamstrings feel. Inhale, step your right foot forward, so bend the knee, and now reach the thigh towards the belly, move your shoulders forward, and step the foot between the palms. Lower your back heel down, lift your arms up, find your warrior one. Um, keep your hips neutral, rotating them towards the front of the room and pressing through the outer edge of your back foot into the mat, lift through the heart. Pause here.
Inhale, open the chest to the left side. Adjust the position of your back foot. Extend the arms, gaze towards the front palm. When you're ready, flip your front palm up. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Reach your right arm back, lengthen through the right side of the body. And exhale, frame your front foot. Lift your back heel up and step your right foot back into plank. And lower down to your knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. So you can go here and into your cobra or your chaturanga upward dog. Exhale, push the hips back and up. Curl the toes, downward dog. Inhale. Lift your left leg up, bend the knee, begin shifting your shoulders forward, compress your belly, compress your thigh to the belly, and step your foot between the palms. Lower your back, heel down, lift your arms up, find your warrior one. Rotate the hips to the front of the room, lift through the heart. Soften through the shoulders. You can gently roll the biceps out, and it's gonna be a little more comfortable. Relax your face, your jaw, your lips. And now slowly open the hips, rotate the chest to the side, gaze to the front of the room. Align the knee over the ankle, keeping both legs active. Expanding the ribs as you inhale, softening as you exhale. Inhale, flip your front palm up, and exhale, reverse the warrior. And when you're ready, rising up, frame your front foot, lift your back, heel up, and step your left foot back to plank, and move through your vinyasa, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, shift your hips back and up, downward dog. Now slowly lower the knees down. You can keep your toes curled, send the hips back towards the heels, and fall to the floor, finding your child's pose. Mm. Keep relaxing, letting go any tension, relaxing your lower back, your hips, your shoulders. Inhale, slowly begin gliding your palms in towards the knees as you lift the torso up. You can uh, begin lifting your hips, rising up to the knees and uncurling the toes. Press the shin bones into the mat and you can lift the arms and sink the hips to the right side and a little to the back, but not too far back. And feel a nice stretch on the right side of the hip. And as you lift through the right arm, you will feel it through the ribs and return to center. Now to the left and to center to the right and center left and center right and push the shin bones into the mat to return and focus on lengthening through the front of the hips And now slowly lower the arms down through the sides. And inhale, reach your palms to the front as you send the hips back, hinging halfway. And now slowly draw the pubic bone towards the ribs and begin rolling up, uh, rising up, stretching through the front of the body. You can lift the arms. Exhale, bring the palms down through the sides and then move to the front as you send the hips back and scoop the pubic bone towards ribs connect to your pelvic floor and slowly push the shin bones into the mat and begin rising up lengthening through the front of the body exhale lower the arms down one more time inhale send the arms to the front begin hinging halfway and slowly draw in the pubic bone towards ribs push your shin bones into the mat rising up and bring your arms down and slowly begin lowering the hips down and bring your hips to the right side of the feet and you can add a twist here to the right side or you can step your left foot to the outside of your right thigh descend your left sit bone down and if it's hard for you to be here you can extend your right leg 
and find your twist this way and lengthening exhaling twisting to the left side you can hook the elbow to the outside of the knee lengthen through the front of the body through the crown of the head exhale twist inhale and exhale waiting for any tension Expand the ribs as you inhale, as you exhale, soften and twist a little deeper. Inhale and exhale, slowly release. And now extend your left leg and begin gliding your palms down your legs as you send your vertebrae to the back of the room and your face towards the knees. So instead of hinging in your hips, you're sending your spine back and as if you're falling over a fit ball, reaching your palms towards the ankles and then slowly begin rising up, taking your vertebrae one on top of the other. Exhale, you're rolling down, reach your fingers towards the ankles and then slowly up, exhaling round. Inhale, lift. Exhaling, round, inhale, lift. And now bend the knees and bring both feet to the right side of the hips. And you can do a little twist to the left side. And now step your right foot to the outside of your left thigh. Descend your right sit bone down. And from here, you lift the arms, inhale and exhale. Twist, if you were doing this variation, do this variation. If you were doing the one with lower leg extended, please do that one. Inhale, lengthen through the front of the body. And exhale, begin rotating your left rib to the right side, right ribs to the back. Lengthen through the uh, crown of the head up to the ceiling and exhale, twist. Inhale, you expand in your ribs. And exhale, soften and twist. Inhale, expand. Exhale, soften and twist. Inhale and exhale, slowly release. You can do twist to the opposite side for a moment. And now extend your right leg. Inhale, lift your arms in front of you and slowly begin sending your fingertips to the front and your spine back as you fold over an imaginary ball. And then slowly rising back up. You can just have the arms extended or glide them down your legs. Inhale and exhale, slowly begin rolling down. Send your vertebrae back and your crown of the head to the front of the room. Inhale and exhale, slowly returning to seated. One more time, slowly rolling down. Observe how easy it is for you. And then inhale and exhale, rolling back up. Bring the palms to the floor, lean slightly back. Fingers are rotated towards the heels. So roll the biceps out, point the toes, and now press the heels into the mat, engage the glutes. And as you draw the pubic bone towards the ribs, stretch through the front of the body, stretch your shoulders, your heart, widen through the collarbones. Push the heels into the mat. And you can play with ripping the mat apart with your heels and observe how it helps you to lift a little higher, engaging your legs. And exhaling slowly in a controlled way, lowering your hips down, bend the knees, bring the palms towards the shin bones and slowly rolling down your spine, one vertebra by vertebra at a time into the mat. Bend the right knee, extend the left leg and find the twist Send your right knee to the left, gaze to the right, extend your right arm. Try to keep your right shoulder on the mat. Breathing and keep relaxing, letting go anything that doesn't serve you slowing down your mind, slowing down the thought process. And when you're ready, begin lifting your right knee, 
bring both palms towards your right shin bone and slowly begin uh, lifting your head, neck and shoulders off the mat and reach your nose, your eyebrows towards the knee, knee to the eyebrows and slowly begin pressing your ribs down, returning. Inhale, begin lifting your head, neck and shoulders and as you do it, feel your ribs pressing into the mat and your core engaging. Reach your forehead towards the knee, knee to the forehead, and exhale, slowly reversing. And now lower your right foot down, bend the left knee, and extend your right leg. You can squeeze your right, squeeze the left knee in towards the chest, and then find your twist, reach the knee to the floor. Extend your left arm and begin twisting your head to the left. You can soften through the shoulders and try to reach your left shoulder to the floor. Inhale. And allow the ribs to soften. And as you exhale, maybe twist a little deeper. Breathing into your lower back, into your middle back, into your ribs. Inhale and exhale, slowly lift the knee and roll to the left side. Squeeze the thigh in. And now have the palms on the shin bone and push the shin bone uh, into the palms as if you're trying to extend the leg and your arms are engaging and resisting. And now slowly begin lifting your head, neck and shoulders and feel the ribs pressing into the mat and then you're bending your elbows, lifting higher. And then slowly as you reverse, press the ribs into the mat, bring the back of your head to the floor. Inhale, press the ribs into the mat as you're rolling up. Feel your core engaging and exhaling down. One more time, inhaling, rising up. Exhale down. And now, bring your left foot to the floor. You can bend the right knee, open your feet mat with the part, and draw your knees in towards one another. Observe how it feels. Maybe it's a little more comfortable for your lower back, for the hips. You can open your knees and move them from side to side, one by one. And now slowly extend your legs, extend your arms, palms facing up. And allow your whole body to relax. Relaxing your ankles, your thighs, your hips, your shoulders, the back of your head, your face, your eyelids, your lips. If you feel comfortable, you can bring your right palm on top of the heart and your left palm on top of your belly. Connecting to your heart center and allowing any worries, any problems, any anxiety, any stress. Leave your body through the back of the heart, back towards the earth, letting go any energy that doesn't serve you, any emotions stuck in your body that have low vibrations. any anger, any worries, any fears. Jealousy. Any 
and visualize golden light, golden light coming in through the heart, through the front of the heart from the universe, from the sky, into the heart, filling your heart with love, gratitude and peace and radiating through the heart into each and every part of your body, into each and every cell of your body. You can stay in Shavasana for as long as you wish. If you're ready to finish the practice with me, begin waking up your toes, your fingers, bending your knees, and rolling to the right side for your fetal position. And slowly rising up to seated, keeping your eyes closed, staying connected to your practice. Bring the palms to the heart and take a moment to be grateful for everything that this practice brought to you, for all the tension you were able to release, for all the new energy you were able to cultivate, for the peace in your heart and your mind. And just observe how your body feels in this position. Maybe you feel more comfortable in your lower back in your hips, maybe you have less tension in your upper back, your shoulders, your neck. Thank you guys for joining me for this practice. I really hope you feel better after this class. Your body has less tension, your mind has less stressful thoughts, your heart is at peace. Please share in the comments below how you feel. Share with your friends, turn on the notifications to never miss the class. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe. Until we meet again, namaste.